when you think about um, people living in larger bodies or people at higher weights, do you believe that obesity is is actually a disease? Because to me, it sounds like a made up construct embedded in anti fatness, anti blackness um, that has been used to you know, with there are associational studies, right, that we all we all are well aware of on a population level sc scale, um, many of those lacking in diverse representation, um, but nothing, no causal studies that I'm aware of, right? So um, do you believe this is actually a disease? Um, and then the follow up question would be why even use the word? Yeah, so I do not. Um, I see it more as a aspect of diversity and a reflection of, again, kind of like there are certain factors as far as even just the food that we have access to, the uh, uh, like screen time, even the increase in like um, internet and phones and all of that as a like weight overall has may have increased as a result of these factors that should be addressed. But the concept of it being a disease and therefore something worth treatment, again, I'm with you that like one, the evidence doesn't necessarily show that causal relationship we're somehow accepting in this space that association equals cause. And yet in any other area, we're very much like, oh, correlation does not equal causation except for obesity, apparently. Um, and then I think the second thing is you're ultimately sending this message to patients and families like that weight loss is required, that weight loss is hard, that weight loss will often fail and that this is a chronic condition, but it's still a disease. And so then you're, you know, there's no hope in that message to be able to say, hey, very likely you're gonna live with this your entire life, go up and down. And yet that's the course of this without necessarily proving that it has um, actual impact on their health, as opposed to, I think of, you know, addiction may also be considered as a chronic condition. And yet with that, we're saying, okay, there actually are negative impacts as a result of addiction. For example, addiction to cigarettes can lead to lung cancer. So we know that there's no other, exposure like um, cigarettes that can continue that. So even if you may have relapsing and remitting condition, it's worth trying to reduce it because it's actually impacting your health as opposed to right. with obesity, that higher weight in itself is not doing that, but perhaps the exposure to exercise, you know, like I, that's why I try again to break it down to like, what are the health conditions that might be contributing to that higher weight for that person or that increase in weight for that person? Those are the modifiable factors that can improve their health. In addition to us as healthcare providers, um, or in the healthcare space, like what advocacy are we doing to make sure that patients actually have control, well, at least have um, improved benefit of the 50% that they can't control, such as those economic and social factors.